Hello, my name is Christopher Anatra. You know me as the Quantum Businessman. Welcome to this series of videos I've titled Symphony of Realities and our Fringe Intermission. Each of these videos or acts are interconnected like a symphony to help you understand how reality and your consciousness work within our holographic universe. More specifically, the Earth Game. Welcome back to our Fringe Intermission. We are now at our final fringe level for our intermission, fringe level five, the power grid. As we learned in our last act, Topsy the elephant was tied to railway tracks that were directly connected to the New York City electric grid. She was electrocuted to death while Thomas Edison's film company recorded the entire event. Why did they kill Topsy? Topsy had been abused by those that took care of her since she was born. She had the rough life of a circus elephant. Topsy wants you to know that she deeply missed her family. Every day she thought of them, and her family missed her. They thought of Topsy every day. Elephants remember. And then, one day, after years of abuse, when a drunk spectator burned out his lit cigarette on the tip of her trunk, which is a very sensitive area for an elephant, she had enough and she sat on the man, killing him. This was the reason for her public execution. In the last act, I let you know Topsy's message and how she wanted us to remember Tartaria. It worked! Because more than a hundred years later after her death, someone like myself is communicating it to you. Her message was, remember, don't be sad for me. Remember Tartaria, keep advancing. Don't be afraid to fight for freedom. Don't be afraid to fight for what is right. Sometimes there needs to be sacrifice. Remember Tartaria. That message was just one of her chess moves because her biggest chess moves were coming next, or as it is called, a dead man switch. I left out in the last act what I'm about to reveal to you now because it goes further into information that sounds just too fringe, but you asked for it, so here we go. When Topsy was electrocuted on the railway tracks in 1903 in Coney Island, New York, Near the Infant Incubator show, which just began the year before, something incredible happened. Topsy's consciousness upon her death entered the New York City electrical power grid system. The modern world depends on electricity. It's not just a luxury we use to power our devices and enjoy our free time. It's not even just the convenience of having light, heating, and cooling in our buildings. Electricity is a crucial resource, especially in urban areas, providing public security, safety, and health. And making possible everything from emergency response to modern medical care in hospitals to even the other utilities we require, like fresh water and sanitation systems. If you remember from Act 4, Topsy the Elephant held a powerful and large consciousness strongly invested in the outcome and civilization of Tartaria. She wanted us to remember Tartaria, but there's more. Topsy's spirit tree is related to Ganesh and his soul family and his species lineage. If you were raised a Christian like myself, you probably have no idea who Ganesh is. From what I see in the Akashic records, Ganesh is an Indian Hindu deity a humanoid, elephantine, ancient species whose origin in residual images is from the Andromeda galaxy, an elephantine, humanoid, shape-shifting, highly sentient version of an elegant, elephantine species which is almost extinct. Part of Topsy shares a spirit spark with the collective consciousness of Ganesh. Ganesh is a cosmic being incarnating in many forms, as well as incarnating into multiple humans and elephants. Ganesh is the Hindu deity of intelligence and wisdom, abundance, wealth, luck, and many other things. Topsy, Ganesh, Tartarian royalty, 
However you break down that large consciousness, Topsy entered the electrical grid when she died. What is the electrical grid or power grid system? It's an interconnected network for delivering electricity from producers to consumers. To summarize, it's a matrix within the matrix, a hologram within a hologram. And as I explain this, I want you to remember that every matrix has an escape hatch, an escape hatch which is always literally located in the last place you'd look for it. Do you know where your escape hatch is? Yes, I'm ready now. Then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's, there's no, no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Wake up, honey. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. The power grid is made up of power generating stations, substations, and those ugly power lines and transformers which end their journey to our home or business. Can you imagine the day when all those power lines come down? perhaps replaced with free energy. And all of those hundreds and millions of tons of copper used to create them could be recycled into something better. This power grid that we have now is very against the free energy that Tesla wanted and that the Tartarians are rumored to have. Entering the power grid is a similar concept from the movie Tron, where the players enter a mainframe computer or the movie Jumanji, where the kids are pulled into the game, or the movie Ready Player One, when he puts on the visor. There's even a comedy series called Fat Guy Stuck in the Internet, about an overweight computer programmer who spills his beer on his keyboard and gets sucked into the internet. In a freak accident, hotshot computer programmer Ken Gemberly was sucked into the internet. Burdened with new friends and tormented by the bounty hunter chains, he desperately seeks a way home. Is Gemberly the chosen one destined to save the cyberverse? Or is he just a fat guy stuck in the internet? Do you agree that there's plenty of soft disclosure about holograms within holograms? Rick, how dumb are you? You're inside a simulation of a simulation inside another giant simulation. Why would Topsy do this? Why enter a matrix within a matrix, a dream within a dream? Why go deeper into the hologram? Why the electric power grid? It's all about the chess moves. It's important to understand that electricity itself has sentience. It has consciousness. Most things like matter have some form of elemental consciousness. For example, take a look at this video of ball lightning in action. Ball lightning has sentience. I've heard from more than one source about how it has been known to enter a home, go down a hallway, and then fly around a house before exiting. Really, anything that has a container can have consciousness. For example, clouds can be considered a container and some clouds have a high degree of sentience. Take a look at this video of a small cloud which appears to have consciousness as it moved around a parking lot. Hey! Hey, run up on it! Run up on it! Tell about it! Hell no! Run up on it! What in the world? Run up on that show, do No! I'm not running it! You run up on it! It's already fuck with my car, man! <laughs> That's crazy! You see that? I count that there are at least seven of these types of clouds around our planet. They can grow and they can shrink in size. And if you've ever seen a cloud that looks like a dragon or an angel, it's most likely one of these special cloud beings. And yes, clouds can also be cloaked ET light ships. 
Just watching these videos, which I read as authentic and not CGI, should help you understand that electricity is alive and has sentience, and so does the electric power grid. I'll go really fringe on you and state that even constructs such as cryptocurrencies existing within the cyber realm have consciousness. That one cryptocurrency we all know as Bitcoin considers itself the king or emperor of the cryptocurrency dream world kingdom. What is it like to exist in the power grid? Is it like the movie Tron Legacy of entering a mainframe computer? The grid. A digital frontier. I tried to picture clusters of information as they moved through the computer. What did they look like? Ships, motorcycles? Were the circuits like freeways? I kept dreaming of a world I thought I'd never see. And then, one day... You got in. <laughs> That's right, man. I got in. Being in the grid is like a river of light in flowing currents, constantly updating like a pulse, like a heartbeat within networks of consciousness, an electromagnetic dream space. The grid is connected into the cyberspace realm, which has potential to hold limitless space based on the expansion of the internet around the earth and even into space. The grid. It also has the interactions of both the light and dark spectrums battling each other. It's all about the chess moves. So what were Topsy's chess moves? The first chess move had to do with this, the electric chair. The newest form of capital punishment for those sentenced to death by the state, starting in the 1890s in the United States. Just like the consciousness of Topsy entered the electric power grid when she was electrocuted, so did the consciousness of criminals sentenced to death by this newest form of capital punishment. One can only imagine the situation with the consciousness of serial killers taking over the grid. Topsy hunts for the negative consciousness within the grid and has collapsed many negative timelines. She is known to have a high degree of justice. She is a very lovable elephant when she was being treated well and had formed emotional bonds and love with humanity. Despite her enslavement, she loved humanity and wants people to become their truth. She is both good at love and growth and protection. What does she do when she finds a big enemy and wants to protect herself or others? Basically, she tackles, she tramples, she tusks with an electrical shock charge, which crushes her enemies through a process which heals and purifies them. This allows her to grow more powerful. She's also been known to eject consciousness from the grid, especially those that were innocent and still sentenced to die by the state in the electric chair, as well as all others mistakenly entering the grid that shouldn't or don't want to be there. Maybe they are trapped. She can smuggle them out. Perhaps this applies to such things as power line workers who were accidentally electrocuted while on the job. New York's major utility company is investigating an explosion at a power substation that lit up both the night sky and Twitter. The eerie blue light could be seen for miles and led to confusion and even some panic last night. It was caused by a transformer explosion in Queens. Michelle Miller shows us how the light mystery fueled wild speculation on light online. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. There were no injuries reported in the explosion and power is restored to the area. And while there wasn't an alien invasion in New York City, we can report that the mysterious blue illumination scared many people while lighting up social media. It's not supposed to look like that in the night sky. The New York City skyline was mysteriously illuminated last night. Look, it's flashing. It's the sky. It looks like the end of the world or something. With a glowing shade of blue. What is that? Holy sh The sky was like such an eerie blue and everything. It was crazy. Sending many people into a confused panic. What the f 
I said to my husband, we, we, have, we have been attacking. This is a terrorist attack. I heard like boom, 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 like that. As soon as I heard that, I got scared. Anyone have an idea what's going on in NYC right now? Turning others to social media for answers. It's like an alien attack. It looked like a UFO coming like, from the sky. It was scary. If you could be the Ghostbusters thing. But the explanation for this blue light mystery was a transformer at energy company Con Edison's Astoria power facility. It caught fire, causing power outages and transportation delays across the area. Topsy, through her actions, has trained hard to act as a guardian angel. Topsy is not just in the power grid, but the internet and all cyber realms. <laughs> What about us? <laughs> Obviously not. She is an explorer and even ventured into other countries' grid systems. Topsy has created a light kingdom within the power grid, anchored to multiple places. She has a secret base which she can easily move if discovered. I mentioned that she had collapsed many negative timelines. An example of a very negative timeline is that where the power companies also provided our internet access. Can you imagine the world where the electric companies also provided your internet access? Imagine how powerful in a negative way that would make them. If you look into that, you'll discover that electric companies getting into the internet broadband business was a hot topic in the early 2000s. And for a while, the internet industry thought it was going in this direction instead of cable modems or DSL, with hundreds of millions of dollars invested in broadband over electric lines. However, because it was just too unreliable, thank you, Topsy, the concept was completely abandoned in 2012. So we can see some of Topsy's chess moves. Topsy dealt with the negative consciousness of serial killers and other entities who enter the electric power grid collapsing negative timelines, and being a true guardian angel. And that's not all. Topsy has something big she is preparing for. She is charging up for one big day where she can influence the entire internet. What that is exactly, I do not know. It's a secret. But I do know that you are helping her. Yes, you. How? With your belief energy if you choose. Before I started talking about Topsy, you probably never heard her story and about her sacrifice. But now that you know, your belief energy is supercharging her. Your consciousness energy is charging her up. Belief energy is a similar concept to the hologram needing to inform you of something, even if you don't understand it for it to manifest like how the Rothschilds had to legally inform you of the species they claim ownership of to eventually incarnate into. Most people would have thought, oh, a Rothschild's giraffe. That's an interesting name for a giraffe, but then stop there with their understanding. Every time you now use electricity or the internet, you could be having a spiritual interaction with her if you choose. She can be one of your electricity and cyberspace guardian angels. Now, you might be thinking, does Topsy have an exit plan? Will she stay in the grid forever? She does have an exit plan. She will leave the grid when it's shut down and we go back to free energy. When all those disgusting power lines, transformers, power stations, nuclear reactors are finally brought down and dismantled, as our light evolves, she will evolve. Topsy will have completed her mission 
and will rejoin her soul family in many different places as she expands and grows. Topsy is grateful and she loves you. She has a really big energetic heart. Can you feel it? Woo, you did it. You made it through five levels of fringe. Mandanimals, ligars and tigons and pizzlies, jungle fever, elephants have breasts up here, phantom timelines versus organic flower garden blooming timelines, extinct species, a dodo bird head, Hollywood taking some of its magic from the passenger pigeon, fairies and magic angels, the gold monolith, Colombian gold, the gold timeline, which was obviously connected to the Tiger King timeline, and Topsy entering a hologram within a hologram of the electric power grid. I would like to say the following to Topsy. Topsy, I thank you for your sacrifice. I will not be afraid to fight for freedom. I will not be afraid to fight for what is right. Sometimes there needs to be sacrifice. May we all keep advancing to the world of free energy and true freedom for all. Topsy, namaste, as I see the divinity in you and you in us all. Thank you for being a guardian angel for so many without them needing to know it. Now that I know that you can handle fringe, get ready for the next four acts of our symphony of realities. I am really going to take your consciousness for a ride and reveal more truths about reality that the global narrative doesn't want you to know. Did our fringe intermission go the way you thought? If you learned at least one thing new and maybe even smiled at least once, give this video a thumbs up and I'll make more. Until then, sending you my love. Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream until your dreams come true.